first time I ever came down this creek, I was probably 11, 12 years old. This is Bubba Graves. You know, my grandfather taught me how to deer and turkey hunt up in these woods. And this is his younger brother, Russell. We'd come down every summer and catch flathead catfish and some blue cats. This creek is a big part of their history. But soon, this creek will be history. I just have a, a great connection to this creek, and it's just sad to see that destroyed. I think it's one of those things, unfortunately, people will appreciate it more once it's gone. Russell Graves has always lived in a small town. That's the only place he's ever wanted to live. This increased by eight inches from year one to year two. Are you with me? Growing up in a rural setting really influenced my choice of professions. You know, we've got the deer at the school land, and so it just seemed like a natural to me to be a school teacher. Who, who wants these antlers to measure? I knew I could live in a small town and live in a rural area. One, two, three, four. Make sense? My name is Russell Graves, and for the past 16 years, I've been a teacher at Children's Independent School District in Children's, Texas. I'm also a professional photographer. Growing up in a rural atmosphere like I grew up in has had a huge effect in who I am, and it's definitely influenced my brand of photography. Everything I look at, I look at through the eyes of, a, of ultimately a country boy because that's what I am. In the early days when I'd send pictures off, I would get rejected so fast, the pictures would almost beat me back home. From there, just a lot of trial and error and just, you know, trying to work hard to get better and eventually things started working out pretty good for me. Early on, I, I was most comfortable with taking pictures of objects that couldn't talk back, you know, wildlife and cattle and, and landscapes and, and just really nature in general. As my career has evolved, I've gotten into taking pictures more of lifestyle shots, people in the outdoors, people hunting, people fishing. Russell now does commercial work for clients like Realtree and She Safari Clothing, and just recently, the Mud Brother. Yeah, I'm a stun hunter slash supermodel. Instead of hunting, we do stuff like this all the time. If it was left up to Russell, we'd never hunt. Yeah, Bubba's gonna be filming uh, with the video camera. I'm gonna be trying to shoot some steals of the birds. And then we're carrying all the gear to try to actually kill a turkey. Now Russell is combining video with his still images, partnering with his brother to produce a series of web-based videos they call and one of the things we've always tried to do is really try to mix a bunch of different mediums into one. Even though it sounds like a traditional hunting show, we really try to make it more about the story and about the personalities behind what we're doing instead of just going out and hunting. Yeah, you have to be quiet because we're trying to hunt for some deer. We really feel like we've excelled in that regard. The Graves brothers grew up near Bonham, Texas, in rural Fannin County. Their home was always out in the country, so spending time in the woods just came naturally. Bubba still lives pretty close to where they grew up, and Russell makes regular trips back to visit family and traipse through the woods. Listen, just paddle me straight. Just keep me a good straight line down through here. I'm just going to film all around, okay? This float trip down Bodark Creek isn't just another paddle in the park. It's a trip to document the land and their memories. In a few years, Bodark Creek and much of the land that surrounds it will look a lot different. As Texas grows, so does the need for water. And as the need for water grows, cities are looking for that water wherever they can find it. To supply the future water needs of its customers, the North Texas Municipal Water District is building a $533 million water supply reservoir near Bonham. 
To do that, they'll be damming up Bodart Creek. That will in turn flood 16,000 acres of Fannin County land. A lot of people, they don't really know what's down these woods. You know, I've seen river otter, white-tailed deer, turkey. It's sad that we're going to lose this. This is a Bodart tree. These roots are orange in color, and they've got this paper that hangs off of them. I, I don't know the botanical reason for that, but it's always been neat. Russell is capturing images for a documentary that he and Bubba are putting together about the creek and the woods and how their lives have been shaped by this land. This is a story about how a creek, muddy and I suppose insignificant to most, transforms. The transformation happens not only to the landscape, but to people as well. We came into this project trying not to be too political about it because, of course, you know, we've got feelings about the uh, water issues that concern this part of Texas and the loss of hardwood bottomlands. But ultimately, it became a personal project. We thought about what this creek means to us, and we thought about how we could preserve its legacy and what it means to us from a personal standpoint. See, so let me show you this. When I first came down here, all this was still woods, and that's why I thought they were just thinning this. They got the idea for the documentary while they were shooting a Hunt Junkies episode. Just head over that way, Russell. The woods where they had grown up, hunted, and filmed many of their projects were being cut down before their eyes. For now, though, the woods are dead. Sitting on what used to be 200 acres of old trees, I close my eyes and listen for the sounds of wild turkeys, crows, and owls, but now silence fills the gap. And this is just one of the dominoes that have fallen all along this Bodart Creek bottom. They've got a resource that's worth money, and before their land's condemned and bought by the North Texas Municipal Water Authority, they're coming in and selling their timber, clear-cutting all the trees, which is really changing the face of an ecosystem that's thousands and thousands of years old. In the late fall of 2009, Bubba and I launched one more time to float the final part of our canoe trip. Russell and Bubba Graves have spent most of their lives as part of this Texas landscape. All the way to the Red River. For them, this film project is as much about the future as it is about their past. We've been coming down to this, this bottom land since we were little boys, and, and so much of our life has been spent down here. It's hard to see and know what's coming and know there's not much you can do to stop it. Our project has never been an activist sort of film. The project is what it is and the lake is what it is and there's not a whole lot that two people can do. But ultimately, if we can just share our love of this and let people understand how culturally and historically and naturally important that this bottom land is to this county and these type of bottom lands are to Texas, you know, maybe that'll change minds in the future.